Hello. How are you doing? Yes, I shaved my beard. The warm weather is here in Canada. It's going to be consistently in the 25 to 27 degree Celsius range for the next uh, several months. So I don't like to be um, overly hot, which is what happens when one has a long beard in the summertime in Canada. So, I shaved, and um, I don't feel one bit different, although I don't immediately recognize myself when I look in the mirror, which is strange, right? I forgot what my chin looked like. <laughs> so, here's my uh, Senator's coffee mug. A steaming hot cup of coffee in the morning really makes the day start off right. It's a beautiful Sunday morning here in the nation's capital of Ottawa, Canada, and I will be um, recording a jazz show shortly. Um, actually, immediately after I post this, I'll start recording my jazz show. I do, of course, have a pop music show as well, if you're interested in that. It's all on the Mixcloud page, and I'll, I'll put a link to down below. Um, that uh, it, It's something I've been doing for over a year now. Started it during the pandemic to keep myself occupied when we had to stay home for two months last year, for the month of April and May. And I just kept doing it because it's something I, I absolutely love. I mean, music is... Um, my biggest passion, and it's the thing that's carried me through some tough times. As I've no doubt, it's done the same for you. At least I would imagine that the music has carried you through some tough times. I know it's... It's a soothing, therapeutic thing, right? You... You listen to a harmonious rhythm and it lifts your soul, your spirits, takes you out of a dark place sometimes. And I uh, unfortunately have, um, <clears throat> well, the last, this past week, um, I'd, I'd been suffering uh, from a depressive episode. Um, I mean, depression is something that I have, right? Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm usually very successful at battling it because I have a lot of tools, uh, number one. And number two, um, the medication has helped tremendously, but there are times when, when you can sink down that, uh, that rabbit hole again, which is what occurred. But in understanding depression, I mean, it has so many ugly faces. It, it, it's not necessarily just a state of being sad or feeling bad. It's, it's, it can be short temporal outbursts. It can be, it can be despair, yes. It, it can be suicidal ideation. I, I, um, that's something I've had for decades. I just choose not to act upon it, right? But, um, this past week, the, the, uh, depression was the, the physical exhaustion. Uh, that was the ugly face that was shown to me. The one where you, you simply can't get out of bed. I did. I did manage to get out of bed every day and go to work, which was very difficult. When I got to work, my spirits were lifted because I was with colleagues and, and that helps tremendously. But yes, um, the getting out of bed part was incredibly difficult. Now, <coughs> sorry, I didn't, that snuck upon me. I didn't have time to hit the mute button. Um, I did get my first COVID shot, uh, my first vaccination this past uh, Thursday, uh, Thursday morning. Shoulder still a little, little, center, a little sore, a little tender. 
Um, but I did, um, I thought, oh, okay, yeah, I'll just go right back to work. Um, but I, I, had to, I had booked the morning off for my appointment, and then uh, as noon rolled around, I realized I'm not going to be able to go to work. I was um, feeling the, the, some of the symptoms that they said, you know, the, um, low-grade fever, um, sore muscles and uh, joints, um, the general malaise, if you will, along with extreme fatigue. Now, that may have been compounded by the, the uh, depression, which was, you know, kicking my butt. Um, but uh, I'm feeling much, much better today, and yesterday for that matter. I'm thankful for that. I'm very grateful for that. The, uh, the warm weather and the sunshine helps. Um, getting out and walking around helps. As anyone who's ever dealt with depression will tell you, exercise can be uh, can be key, can really make a difference, can help you in tremendous ways, and it uh, it certainly helped me. But I think it was just it was just the end of the episode, um, and uh, as I said, I, I I'm feeling much much better today, which I'm I'm grateful for thankful for and uh, it's 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 I, I'm bald I my head gets cold <laughs> and now that I have no beard I, I notice the temperature fluctuations much quicker so that's why I'm wearing a toque today um, and it's it's not super uh, warm in my apartment right now although it will reach it's currently 14 degrees Celsius here it's supposed to reach high at 24 today so that's quite warm very very pleasant but um, it's about 20 uh, 20 degrees in my apartment so it's a little little nippy anyway if you're um, if you're battling um, with mental health issues anxiety or depression talk to your friend Paul I'm here to listen um, and try and provide you with any sort of advice or tools that may help you as I said in the past, and I'll reiterate again today for you, that when I'm in a deep, dark, depressive episode, it's the absolute last thing I want to talk about. Let's talk about anything other than that, to get my mind out of that uh, endless cycle of doom, gloom, and despair. So, I'll tell people, I'm going through something right now, can we just talk about music, sports, politics, football, anything to get my mind off of what I've been thinking about non-stop in my um, head when I'm not around people. See, the voice is in my head. <laughs> it's my voice, and it's in my head. It's just my own thoughts um, that, that I certainly don't have control over. And the thing is, though, we can choose how to act upon those thoughts. And I choose not to act upon those thoughts. Choose, choice, chosen. Anyway. So here I am on a Sunday morning. Hot coffee, microphone, doing some YouTube for you folks. You're very kind folks, by the way. Everybody has been very, very, very kind to me, and um, I really appreciate that. It's um, it's made my life, um, well, when, when, uh, when you're going through a tough period and you read these wonderful comments from people, it really does help lift your spirits and improve your mood. So thank you to, to each and every one of you. I really do appreciate it, and uh, I hope I hope I'm able to help you relax, help you uh, find some soothing time to get away from all the noise that we have in the world right now. It's noisier than it's ever been, and it's sometimes difficult to escape. So I hope you uh, are able to lie back comfortably on your favorite 
chair, couch, hammock, bed, maybe a blanket, um, in a park, under a tree. Put your headphones on and let me try and help soothe you into a blissful state of relaxation. I say try because there's no guarantee I'll succeed at this, but I will continue to give you my best efforts. And, as I've stated in the past, and I will again in the future, I'm here for you. If you want to talk, send me a message. I'm happy to, uh, I'm happy to just listen if that's all you need. But I can, like I said, if you're looking for, um, maybe some advice or maybe some tools to help deal with anxiety and depression. I have 41 years experience and uh, I'm still here, so I've, I've, I've managed it. Now, again, I am on medication these days um, because I, I couldn't manage it anymore alone. But I'm doing very, very well these days, despite, you know, last week's minor setback. You have to understand that the medication isn't always going to be 100% all the time. And there's always mitigating circumstances that can put you into that situation that I just found myself in. And in my instance, I have no idea what pushed me there. Perhaps the weight of the entire world, everything that's just going on. And if you're a resident of Ontario, Canada, like I am, you'll know that our idiot premier has just continued to make things worse. But I'm not going to discuss that. Not here. Not on this channel. And not today. Because today is about feeling better. Soothing your mind, your soul, and your spirit. And I hope I've been able to provide that to you today. You take care, friends. I'll talk to you soon.